First stage, we're going to chop up our shallots finely and add them into a pan with our butter, which we're going to melt and then soften off the shallots. And whilst your shallots are softening in the butter, just want you to get your garlic cloves and chop them up finely as well. So as we chopped up my garlic, I'm just going to take a look at my shallots and butter. And that's still melting. We're going to wait until that's softened before we add the garlic to fry that off for a few minutes. Once your shallots have softened, add in your finely chopped garlic and cook that for another few minutes. And once your garlic's been cooking away for a few minutes and that's all softened, we're going to add in your white wine and also grate in, I've said half a uh, lemon zest. These ones are absolutely tiny. Don't know if you can see them. The wonky ones from Aldi. So I'm probably just going to grate in the whole lot just because it's so small. But if you've got an, like, a normal size large lemon, then please, not please, you can put in as much as you want, obviously, but I, I'd go for a half. Then what we're going to do is ramp the heat up because we're going to burn off the alcohol. So I'll burn off the alcohol and I just want you to reduce the liquid by about half. And whilst that's doing that, I'm going to boil water for my tagliatelle, add salt, and bear in mind it only takes three minutes, so we're only going to put it on a wee bit later because it's fresh pasta. I'm going to bring that heat down. I can see volume has reduced. Once you've reduced that, I want you to get your lemon juice and add in two tablespoons, your mascarpone, and we're going to allow that to melt. So we're going to stir that in and melt it. Meanwhile, I'm going to roughly chop or finely chop, however you want it through, a little handful of parsley. Once you've melted your mascarpone down, just going to add the parsley and I'm going to allow that to simmer for a little while. At this point, I'm going to add the tagliatelle on to cook as well. So as I've said already, just cook that as per packet instructions. So whilst your pasta sauce simmers and your tagliatelle cooks, I'm going to get your pistachios and I just want you to roughly chop that or them. So just like that, we don't want it too fine just because you still want to actually see the texture of the pistachio when you sprinkle it over. Then before we add pasta, when you get your salmon and just flake that into the sauce. You can leave some of that for garnish if you want as well. I just like it going all through the pasta. Then we're going to drain out the tagliatelle and mix that through. So that's us. So we're just going to serve that up and garnish with pistachio.